Governor Jerry Brown has signed landmark legislation into law, making California the first state in the nation to add lessons about gay history to social studies classes in our public schools. Supporters say this has been a long time in coming, but opponents say the legislation will brainwash our children. 17's Kelsey Thomas in our newsroom tonight with the story. Kelsey? Jim, some openly gay lawmakers argue the bill will help put an end to gay bullying in our schools. But conservatives argue the new material will expose students to a subject some parents don't agree with. And that may well. Governor Jerry Brown says history should be honest and has signed legislation that requires public schools to buy textbooks and other teaching materials that cover the contributions of those from the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. There's no reason to deny students the full understanding of the broad diversity of the human experience, and that's what this bill will do. Democratic State Senator Mark Leno of San Francisco, the bill's author, says this will teach students to be more accepting of gays and lesbians. If you're a Democrat or Republican, who cares? You appreciate a person for being themselves. So if students are taught to appreciate others for being themselves, um, they'll be better off and better equipped to handle adult relationships later on in life. But most people we talk to in Bakersfield say being tolerant and teaching it in the classroom are two separate ideas. Junior high, high school perhaps, but anything before that, I don't think that's a great idea. Marriage should be between men and women and not of the same, and, and so I really have a problem with it. I think it would really depend on how it's presented. I think it's appalling and the governor's overstepping his bounds. I don't really find it necessary, to be completely honest. 17 News Republican political analyst Kathy Abernathy had this to say. This lunacy perpetuated by an out-of-control legislature may be the final straw for many voters. I sense a full-scale rebellion may be underway beginning now. Assemblyman David Valadeo voted no on the bill along with Senator Gene Fuller. Senator Michael Rubio voted yes. We'll hear from Mr. Valadeo coming up at 6. Live in the newsroom, Kelsey Thomas, 17 News. All right, Kelsey, thanks. Now we want to know what you think. That is the subject of tonight's 17 Interactive Feedback Poll. Tonight we're asking, do you agree with teaching lesbian, bisexual, gay, and transgender civil rights movements and historic contributions in our schools? You can call us at 283-1800, enter category 1000, press 1 if you agree with the LBGT history in our schools, press 2 if you do not. You can also let us know why you voted the way you did by sending us an email at poll at kget.com or by leaving a comment on the KGET Facebook page and we will update the votes and air some of your comments coming up at 5.30. With some 350 of you calling in so far tonight, 11% say yes, you agree with teaching about LBGT rights and historic contributions. 89% of you say you don't agree. Here's a look at some of your comments tonight. Zach emails in, there is not enough American history taught in schools now. We have to tolerate homosexuality and the gay society's contributions. What contributions? Our children barely understand the contributions of Ben Franklin, Abe Lincoln, Patrick Henry, and the like. And Brianne Wines writes in to our Facebook page, it's not teaching kids, it's okay to be gay or whatever you're thinking, it's teaching about the civil rights of the LBGT community. You learn about the civil rights of African Americans, why not the gay community? History lessons in California schools will soon include teaching materials that cover contributions from the gay community. Governor Jerry Brown signing that legislation, landmark legislation, into law today, making California the first state in the nation to have such a requirement. Kelsey Thomas, live in studio tonight with more. Kelsey. Supporters say this has been a long time coming, but opponents say the legislation is immoral. Governor Jerry Bryan signed it into law today. It requires public schools in California to buy textbooks and other teaching materials that cover the contributions of those from the gay and lesbian community. Some conservatives argue the bill will expose students to a subject that some parents find objectionable. But Democratic State Senator Mark Leno of San Francisco, the bill's author, says it will teach students to be more accepting of gays and lesbians. We're failing our students by not better informing them that there are differences among us, but that's no reason to be cruel or hateful but when we deny them this information, 
that's the result. Our schools are failing today, and we need to focus on what helps kids get a job. I mean, they, they need to work on math, they need to work on reading, they need to work on English. Um, there's a lot more priority stuff that we need to be teaching our kids. Assemblyman David Valadea voted no on the bill, along with Senator Gene Fuller. Senator Michael Rubio voted yes. And here's what the Kern County Superintendent of Schools Office had to say. Whatever the course of study the California legislature and the California Department of Education decide upon, we will, of course, observe that because it is the law. The new law requires local school districts to buy new books as soon as 2013. Local school boards will decide how to implement the requirement. Live in the newsroom, Kelsey Thomas, 17 News. With 600 of you weighing in so far tonight, 13% say yes. They do agree with the LGBT history in schools. Meanwhile, 87% say no, they do not. Let's take a look at some of your responses on our feedback page. Pamela Briggs wrote on our Facebook page, and she says, No, there's never been anything like that in our history books. Why change it now? People should just leave things alone. And Alvarado Garcia sent us an email saying, I'm upset at how this community is deciding who can be recognized. Everyone is the same, no matter what the difference is. It does show that prejudice is alive and well. I really think there is no problem teaching it in the school system. Here now are the final results from tonight's 17 interactive feedback poll. Earlier we asked, do you agree with teaching lesbian, bisexual, gay and transgender civil rights movements and historic contributions in schools? With 800 of you voting tonight, 84% say say rather no that they do not agree with teaching LGBT history in schools and 16 percent say yes they do agree with it. Thank you very much for voting in tonight's 17 interactive feedback poll. In a landmark decision, Governor Jerry Brown has signed a bill making California the first state in the nation to add lessons about gays and lesbians to social study classes in public schools. Brown, a Democrat, signed the bill requiring public schools to include the contributions of people who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender in social studies curriculum as soon as the 2013-2014 school year. The Democratic majority legislature had passed the bill last week on a largely party-line vote. Brown signed the bill yesterday but made the announcement today. Now, the bill has drawn criticism from some churches and conservative groups that argue such instruction would expose students to a subject that some parents find objectionable. The legislation leaves it to local school boards to decide how to implement the requirement. It does not specify a grade level for the instruction to begin. California public schools will be required to teach about the contributions of gay and lesbian people under a law signed today by Governor Brown. But the controversial issue is drawing strong reaction from those on both sides of the issue. Jose Gaspar is here with more on what's behind this new curriculum. Jose? Kurt, the new school year hasn't even started and already people are talking about pulling their kids out of class if they are taught about gay history. But there's still many questions about it, especially about the curriculum that's still to be determined. With the governor's signature, California becomes the first state in the country to include the contributions of gay and lesbian people in the curriculum. State Senator Mark Leno is the author of the legislation that made it possible. The fact is we have been censoring a very important chapter of civil rights history about a community that has been traditionally demonized and discriminated against and in recent years, in recent decades, has had some success in fighting for its basic civil rights, its full inclusion in society, its first-class citizenship. I don't think that's a good idea. Esteban Sanchez has a daughter in high school. I mean, they want to take like the Pledge of Allegiance and God, and then they want to throw gays and lesbian uh, in there. I don't, I don't think that's right. Eventually, we'll all have to learn about it, you know, because it is in our society now. But besides teaching about the role and contributions of gays and lesbians, it also includes people with disabilities and other cultural groups. Here's some comments from viewers who posted their opinions on our Facebook page. Temperamental writes, I suggest those of you that disagree as much as I do to simply send a note excusing your son or daughter from such classes. I will be doing it just in case at the beginning of the school year. John Hurst Tyler says, please do take your kids out of our public schools, haters and bigots. More time can be spent one-on-one -on -one with students who truly want to learn. Matthew King says, I'm a teacher and let's just say I'll find a way to skip that part. 
but it's not yet known just what the curriculum will include, and it is expected to take years before that is established. That will be decided differently in each school district through local process of public comment and public participation. So as it will be implemented in one school district could be different from another. The bill does not give parents the option of pulling their students out of such classes, and that will most likely be a point of contention when schools get ready to implement that new law. Lisa?